Mayday, Mayday, this is Captain Tara Fowler of the Athlesian Star Class Bar Trader Merchant Ship, codenamed Nova Blue, carrying rock deposits from Planet 33X. We're requesting immediate emergency rescue. We've lost all turrets, shields weakening, oxygen has been compromised. Hull style MMJ breached. Jump drive and maneuver drive disabled. Cargo has been compromised. Only two survivors remaining, but other life has been spotted. I repeat, we need immediate rescue from the following coordinates. Damn it! Navigation is down too. Damn it! Damn it! Oh! Oh! Fuck! You're right. We need to be quiet. Those things can hear us. Such an idiot. I knew it was risky, but no, no, had to take, had to take the rough road. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If it wasn't for me, I would have been home already. Be calm. <laughs> Shit. There goes the engines. That's it. Communications down. Gyroscopes down. Oxygen failing. Failing. Failing, failing, failing. My guess is we have about seven minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Those doors will hold for now, but I can't say about the vents. We'll be fine here. For now. Hey, can I be honest with you? <laughs> I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> I didn't think that it would turn out this way. But of all the things that we've potentially gotten ourselves into, <laughs> I'm so glad that you're the one that made it. I know that we had... Eight others. Damn. <laughs> Can't compare to you. I mean, you were my first crewmate. <sighs> I remember getting this ship not knowing what the hell I was doing. Walked into a random bar and saw you sitting there all by yourself. Some drunk chick hanging off of you. <laughs> uh, you were not interested. It was obvious. We're so stubborn. Then again, so was she. <laughs> I remember sitting down next to you and she immediately backed off. You looked at me and called me princess. Oof. I remember making that making my blood boil. Ugh, I hate that. I still hate it when you do. I'm not a fucking princess, dude. You fucking know that. <laughs> you were also such a bitch back then, just in general. <laughs> you looked down to me, and you spoke down to me, too. Like I was trying to solicit something from you, but I never even said two words to you. You are already judging me. I knew right then and there that I liked you and wanted you as part of my crew. <laughs> yeah, I like a guy with a backbone. What can I say? You showed up the next morning and we took off. 
three crazy years. We've stolen things, we've retrieved things, we've killed people, we've <sighs> faced monsters, we've discovered colonies, conquered and been conquered. All the loot we've moved, the ass we've kicked. Come on, you gotta admit, we're pretty awesome, right? <laughs> if I could do it all over again, I'd only change two, two things. One, I'd go around this stupid asteroid belt and slap myself for ever even having this idea. And the other is that I'd probably tell you that I loved you so much earlier. After all these years, you made me feel like my life is so much more worth living now that I'm in control of it. You make me want to do all these crazy things and come out the other side with a couple of bumps and bruises or at most, you know, completely dismembered. Telling people no, like you did to my parents. Oof. The looks on their faces when you told them off I'm going to be honest with you, I've never been so turned on. <laughs> Ugh, it's been a secret fantasy of mine to be able to tell them off. Well, you beat me to it, but there's no hard feelings. It was definitely worth being there. <laughs> I wish we would have had the chance. It's one of my biggest regrets. It's none giving us a chance when we had the chance. I was just so scared. And I think you were too. Yeah, judging by that look you're giving me, I probably guess that you feel the same way. same way. <laughs> Since the bar. <laughs> no, I'm not crying. <laughs> We're idiots. <laughs> We're fucking idiots. You too. God. with me. I'll see you in the next one.